Hello everybody and welcome back to Hidden Expedition Dawn of Prosperity. We are the greatest hidden object players in the world, Aquatic and Subterranean Editions. My name's Michael. I'm Amanda. And oh boy, have we got a treat for you today. We have got a fishing shack. And this one doesn't have a stranger who's pretending he got kidnapped by a ghost pirate, unfortunately. The last fishing shack from the previous game was probably more fun than this one's going to be. Was that? That was like two games back. Wow. Yeah, that was a while ago. Time seems slippery here in 2020. <laughs> uh, we, so what we just learned is that the janitor here at the... Um, school, si science facility school? Underground lair of somebody, something. <laughs> look, look, there's some people who are living in the caldera of a mountain. Uh-huh. Or, or an active volcano, which is kind of my guess. Yeah. But uh, anyway, the people who are living in this underground, in-mountain facility are like kidnapping high schoolers, geniuses, and making them work for them. And the janitor was the father of the girl. One of the science kids. The smartest girl. The smartest one, yeah. The smartest girl. And... He, w he took the job to be close to her, but she didn't remember that that was her father, even though she last saw him when she was, like, six? There's so maybe she's been brainwashed somehow? I don't know. This is this has been a weird and confusing uh, story so far. Here's hoping we get brainwashed so that we can get through it. <laughs> but let's find out what we need to do here, because this looks like something. We obviously need to put a fossil back together from the three obvious pieces that are on the ground. It's not uncommon to find prehistoric fossils this deep underground. Not that I expected it, though. Why wouldn't you expect it if it was common, you weird protagonist? And why did someone carefully chip them out, and why are we undoing their work? I'm going to bury this back under the mountain. <laughs> Some things man was not meant to know. What? Um, somehow we just intuitively knew that that was actually a secret thing. Uh huh. It shouldn't be too hard to dry out a puddle of this size. It's connected to an entire lake. You gotta dry out the whole lake. What's the plan, lady? What are we even trying to get to? We have a hair dryer. Just put your hand down there. Just get what? your hand wet. <laughs> oh my god! You're not made of tissue paper. I even complimented this protagonist early, early, early in the game because, like, they did not bulk when they had to touch cobwebs yep. mm -hmm. which has been a problem with some of these hidden object game protagonists which is exasperating this one touched cobwebs so why is she unwilling to get her hand wet because uh right arm is made of tissue paper oh you just dissolve and fall right off hey a fact there's a science fact out in the barrel i can't quite reach it maybe i can improvise something we got a pokey something. How big that's is it? That's an Allen key. Oh, that's small. That's sh yeah, that's not anything. Oh, we can just open this up. All right, so this is a <laughs> hidden object? It's, nothing's hidden. It's like, find the rubber duck that's right there at the bottom. Yeah. The hell? The The hidden object part of this game has it's been... Very weak. Very weak. Don't they know that we are the world's greatest? We yeah. demand a challenge when you're hiding your objects. The yeah. dart has deflated the ball. You're supposed to at least try to mix them Sandals up among in the lower right. other things. Turtles a drawing. That's the closest they've come to trying to get tricky. Uh, All right, let's put on our scuba gear and go after that science fact. Oh, um, that's <laughs> feather shape. No, that's that's a fish. That's I a guess the, what what they are doing is like making it so easy that that you gear down and then when you miss something, you're like, oh, I guess maybe I need it to be this easy. <laughs> I don't buy it. No. It's a good thing we're finding the main story so compelling. <laughs> I really need to learn if they these science students ever don't die from gas. A, a gas problem from their earthquake machine in their school? We freed lab? them. We freed them from the gas problem. They're fine. They're not actually in any danger except from earthquakes. From a machine that they built. From a machine that they built. That's supposed to make earthquakes, and then they're worried when it makes earthquakes. Yeah, the the, the story has been real special so far. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll have to come back for the science fact. Alright. Oh, oh, another door lock that makes no sense. Someone around here really had a knack for complicated locks. I, I guess they did. call that a knack. I would call that a compulsion. Is the brass quill... It's, it's I... metal... Other than that, it doesn't really fit the kind of 
Uh, it's probably going to be something, you know, square, circular shaped. Oh, I with. see what it is. It's I, I didn't even register at first that there's something missing here. Mm -hmm. Because to be honest, when you look at this, this doesn't stick out. It's like they're just metal things, and that's a metal thing. Yeah, but it doesn't have decorative brass on it. So. Yeah, I guess. So we need to find a decorative brass tchotchke to stick on this uh -huh. for the psychotic person who designed the lock. Well, it's like whoever would, whoever left there obviously locked it and then yanked that thing off and then put it somewhere, as you do. <laughs> what? It makes a little noise when you poke it? Yeah, it makes the kind of noise that lanterns never make. What the hell? That's a chain noise. Huh. That, it's clearly... Attached with a rope, right? I'm not out of my mind. I mean, that's the least of our complaints, but it's just funny. Also, those science facts are optional, so why would you not just give that to us? Why would you make us come back for it? I think there's probably something under it that we oh. need. Like, maybe we need the barrel to scoop out this pu puddle. Look, sure. It doesn't even look like a puddle. It's just part of the lake. Gotta drain the whole lake. We gotta drain this lake, I guess. Okay, oh, what else can okay. we do around here? Um, right. We want to try out a roller blade. Take the wheel. Can we out Allen her? key it? Well, I guess we can try. Yep. Uh huh. So we just ruined some kid's day. Completely broke it. It was half broken. Now it's fully broken. It's too deep for me to reach with my hand. So... Huh? How about with a feather? <laughs> it's bronze. Yeah, It'll poke hold with up. a feather. Do you think that that wheel that we got is the last thing to oh. be on the? I didn't Lock? mean to hit that. Hmm. The wheel? I don't know. It looks kind of brass and shaped like the other things that were on the lock. I wouldn't think so, but... You know how when you leave your apartment <laughs> and you lock the front door by yanking something off it and then you attach it to a roller blade that you then cram into some concrete? You know how you do that? I bet that's what happened. That You're like, when I come back... I'm going to know how to unlock my front door. All I need is an Allen key to remove a wheel from my roller blade that's half broken and wedged in concrete. I mean, that wouldn't be the weirdest solution to a lock we've seen. Uh, we don't have anything for here, I don't think. We can't even go in? We helped get all the gas out and we can't even go in? No, because it's still gassy in there. It's like we got to wait for it to clear. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure. Yeah, it'll take some time before the air is safe to breathe. The central statue here is waiting for one more shape. What's the last shape it's waiting for? Let's see. Is it a quill? It's, it's not letting me click on it. Are oh, you sure? did we finish it? Maybe we finish it. Okay. Let's go throw our quill in the river then. We don't need any more brass things. I'm going to do a hint because it has been at least a week since we played. Mm -hmm. Where are we going, game? Over there? Cool. Okay. Uh-huh. If it points us to that front door, something nope. else with the roller blade. So it seems to think that we can reach in there. Huh. With with what? This is all we have? Timing belt. That's, <laughs> that's insane. I guess maybe we're supposed to find a thing that we can... Around here? I don't know. Huh. What I if we I'm dismantle not... more children's toys <laughs> and take that tricycle apart? Is there anything we can do up here? No? Like get a stick? What about by that back window by the blue house? Here? Yeah. I think that's the door lock. Yeah. Which we don't have. We have half of it. Oh, right. Half of the arabesque. All right. Let's see if there's something here that we can grab. I don't think something there is. Something else that we missed. Yeah. No, that's the <laughs> that's the lake we're supposed to dry out. I still maintain that we try and put the roller blade wheel. Okay. We gave it a shot. It wasn't a bad thought. I mean, it was a bad thought, but it was the kind of bad thought that these games demand you have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, are are we really? Hmm. Here, I'll throw a timing belt at it. Sure. <laughs> I'll throw a roller blade wheel at it. I don't get it. I'm confused. 
No, it's insisting that we've got to be here. There's something here waiting for us. Well, you <laughs> ruined a better butterfly's day, so <laughs> that's a success. It seems to think we can do this. Uh, oh, for... Are you kidding we, me? Wait, how does the insole help us reach in further anywhere? Why are we spending it... so much time demolishing... <laughs> A rollerblade just totally MacGyvering it apart. I think we need that. I don't think that we can do the other part yet. I think do we, we scoop this water out with the boot? Let's find out. Holy crap. Terrible. This is ridiculous. Where Where's that water going? Just off screen? <laughs> is that the other half of the arabesque? Okay. Yes. And that's all that was there. Alright. If you say so, game... Sure, game. If that's what it takes to move us along. <laughs> uh huh. What? What? Just rotate it around till it looks okay. Really? That's it. Huh. That's not really. That is. Worth doing. That's you know how doing. when you leave your house, <laughs> you take <laughs> half of your key and you throw it into a shallow pool. A shallow pool that you know you can undo later by dismantling your rollerblade to give yourself a boot. Otherwise, you can't get back in your home. To be fair, that clearly was us improvising. Like It wasn't the... improvising the arabesque thing on top that no. was apparently needed to unlock it. No, but the homeowner like probably isn't afraid to put their hand in water. They don't have a right hand that's made of <laughs> tissue paper that'll just immediately dissolve into shreds. This looks like a boy's room, says our gender essentialist protagonist. What makes you say that? Oh, girls don't like books. Or pinball? Or bunk beds? I don't know. <laughs> Found the milk. <laughs> Distilled water. It says H2O in big letters yeah. on it. Come on. Uh, are we going to learn some water facts? Ooh, or pinball facts? Tell us about what the first bally table was. Pinball. Yep. <laughs> Bagatelle, really? A variation of pool in which there were obstacles and pins on the table that made getting the ball into one of the holes harder. A coin-op version of Bagatelle was later invented and became really popular. That led to a different look for the game, making it more complicated, attractive, or even themed, which eventually led to the game Pinball that we know today. That's not exactly true. The early Bagatelle stuff was gambling machines. Yeah. And you were just betting on where the ball was going to fall and you had no control over its descent. It was 100% luck based. Right. And so that's why pinball had a disreputable reputation for the first part of the century is because it was based on a gambling game. As a matter of fact, there was a period of time where the police would raid pinball establishments and take axes to pinball tables in the same way that they smashed up uh, barrels full of beer and alcohol during Prohibition. You can actually find black and white footage of pinball tables being thrown into a pit or lit on fire if you watch any of the documentaries that we watched about pinball for some reason. <laughs> hey, I just realized that's... I think it's a Dracula pinball. Is which it? is awesome. Look at the back. Oh, yeah, board. you're right. It says And Dracula. I think there's a fanged Dracula on the side. Oh, wow. Well, that's a nice detail, I guess. That's mm -hmm. very weird to include. Matt and Sean are inseparable, we say, psychically, somehow. You can just tell that's where they sleep. Because we've memorized how they smell. <laughs> oh my god. What's on the bookshelf? There's a little T-square shaped thing. Oh, just books. Place to put the brass feather. <laughs> One book at a time. I guess. Yeah. All right. So, our theory is the kids are hiding something here. With I mean, their knowledge of brass feather creation. <laughs> I don't think we're necessarily assuming that the kids have something to do with it. Just there they was a little to... descriptive text that came at the top. Was it really? Mm -hmm. I missed it. What could the kids be hiding in there? You're right. Something they didn't want to show to their superiors, surely. Maybe their superiors shouldn't have built a home and then handed them the brass feather <laughs> keys required to open a secret compartment where they could hide things. Yeah. Ever think about that? Evil geniuses running a science school in a caldera of a volcano for kids <laughs> who you've kidnapped and then hire the relatives as janitors? 
Huh? <laughs> Think about that with your big plan. Let's go upstairs. This room is much tidier than the one downstairs. Wait a minute. Uh, what is dirty about this one? Nothing. This gender essentialism is garbage game. <sighs> Trying to anyway. tell us that girls are neater. I didn't know that it's possible <laughs> to lock a laptop. Apparently it is, our secret agent protagonist says. Knows nothing about secrecy or data security. Wow. We are dumb. I'm calling it now. <laughs> I mean, I was willing to give this protagonist lots of leeway, but, you know, this is a very weird environment to be in, and of course you can't figure everything out, but if you didn't know that much, you just I think dumb. we were hired on some sort of an exchange program from whatever land it is we come from where people have arms made out of tissue paper. <laughs> Another crazy contraption. I'm not sure if it is unfinished or if it's just missing a belt. It's absolute bottle shaped. We're gonna get some vodka out of this thing. Oh, nice. Oh, or a toy airplane. That's almost as good. There it goes. Well, maybe we can find some better vodka. Oh, we can build a robot vacuum cleaner? We have a robot vacuum cleaner. You didn't see us pick, it up, pick this up, did you? I did, but we just got the head, so we can combine it into a complete robot vacuum cleaner now. I don't know what we use it for. Vacuuming. <laughs> As soon as we go down to the quote-unquote messy boys' room, except the robot vacuum cleaner. Oh, I've got to I've attach its arms. click on these to make them attach. Okay. Uh, what is that? It's the oh, antenna. the antenna. You know. But oh. then that implies a remote control. We have a rollerblade wheel we can put on the bottom. This little fellow would roll around much easier with at least one wheel. Wow. Well, now we have a Roomba. So, that's a thing. Hmm. Uh, why would someone remove a piece of the frame? I don't know. Everybody around here is psychotic, that's <laughs> why. These old vacuum tubes are really hard to get. I suppose that's why Clara didn't repair the radio. Science fact. Oh, we're gonna learn about vacuum tubes, I bet. Not if we never click on it. Well, I mean, Now we're collecting golf balls? Yeah, you know. You might need to throw a golf ball at someone or something. <laughs> it's very relaxing to get in a round of golf in between secret agenting around. Like, what if we just threw a golf ball at the lock? <laughs> that might work. What if we just poured water over this laptop and then it doesn't matter what's in it? <laughs> Warranty voided. Oh, gosh, we are going to do something with a wine glass. Oh, can we combine it with the water? Maybe. Oh, there's a fingerprint on there. I'm guessing we aren't supposed to combine it with the water then, but let's try anyway. Yeah, we're probably supposed to... Oh, you know what? I bet if we find something adhesive, this gets us past the hand scanner. Yes, that's completely it. So yeah. that we can go in without a breathing apparatus and die in that gas that hasn't <laughs> dispersed yet. Okay, is there anything else to do here? Geology, microbiology, is there anything these kids aren't interested in? I mean, these are just posters. You don't have to be interested in geology or microbiology to stick up a cool-looking poster about it. I bet they're not interested in the history of yogurt and how milk was just stored in, like, cow and goat's bladders uh, in heat to be carried long distance, and then there was a pleasant surprise when it started curdling into a new edible form probably somewhere in the steppes of Mongolia hundreds of years ago. I bet they weren't interested in that. Is that, what is, is that microbiology? Nope. What do you, then why was that, what is that? I'm trying to think of things they're not interested in. And oh. I bet hot milk <laughs> in a goat's bladder is something they're not interested in. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad you, you are, or aren't you, or, uh, thanks for sharing that anyway. Oh, we need a, um pinball flipper and apparently we're gonna typical a household repair is an impossible task for a couple of scientists you know for your household your pinball table yeah that's not household repair and also who says it was impossible they might have had more important things to do while they're trying to repair their earthquake machine weirdo all right um i bet they're not interested in the fact that there was an icelandic translation of dracula where the person instead of just doing a tra straight translation of Dracula's text instead decided to do a full rewrite and add new relationships and characters and stuff 
and it wasn't discovered until within the last couple of decades when someone actually bothered to compare the texts. You made that up. I didn't. Go you look made it that up. up. <laughs> go look up Icelandic Dracula. Uh, and maybe that's the basis for the pinball machine in there. <laughs> uh, it's got only one flipper to symbolize how mm-hmm. it's a crippled text. Yep. Okay, then. Or, you know, if you read as Icelandic, you can go read it yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. That is another of the things these kids probably don't care about. <laughs> All right, we we have a science badge, and I feel like we should know where that goes, but I don't remember where that goes. What is the coat hanger supposed to be for? The coat hanger, we... Do we have something that we could combine it with? I don't see anything obvious. What are you... Where are you seeing a coat hanger? This is... Oh, this coat the hook. Yeah. I'm sorry, we had a hanger earlier that oh, was I like see. a clothes hanger, and I was like, I think we used that. I thought it was gone. We did, but now we got one of these things. If I tie it to a string. Okay. So we're just going to use it eventually as a hook when we have a string or a, for it. like a grappling hook. <laughs> we're <laughs> that would climb be on top of a building using that and some string. If we Batman around with that thing, then I will be happier. I won't. I, w- I was going to say I'll forgive the protagonist everything, but I won't. I won't. I'm going to hold a grudge forever about all this stuff, but... Um, all we need is string because we're as light as the tissue paper that we're made out of. <laughs> there has to be something else that's hydrophobic besides tissue paper. Oh, uh, cotton candy. We're Maybe a- our right arm is made of cotton candy. <laughs> I mean, in the last game, we... we came up with a very um, plausible fiction that we were a frog detective and uh-huh. everything kind of seemed to fit in with that. Sure. So. But you don't buy that we're an exchange agent from a candy kingdom and that um, one of our parents was fully made of candy floss I, and we only inherited part of that genetically? It's a little harder to wrap my head around, yeah. But we haven't seen our own hands in this game so we can't know. Uh, you got me there. All right, I don't remember where the the atom symbol goes. Um, was it somewhere around here? You know, I might just do a hint because I I just I remember it, but I don't, it's been a few days and I don't remember where it was. So I'm gonna do a hint. Okay, street corner. What it? What do you want us to do here? Are we gonna send the robot vacuum cleaner into there? Cause sure. If, if our hand can't fit, this nope. can't fit, surely. Holy shit, it can! Yeah, how does our hand not fit? Th- but thanks... Oh, and it came back to us. Uh, th- okay. Give us the thing, robot vacuum cleaner. What? So uh, someone really did not want someone beating their pinball high score. <laughs> like, I'm gonna yank the paddle off and hide it out front. That is hilarious. It's funny that there's no glass on this table. <laughs> Maybe it's just implied. Wait, what? what, what That's not where the ball flushes. What because... happened? Am I supposed to be hitting something? I don't know. I guess there's an info I should be hitting. Swivel the bumpers Swivel them. to change their orientation. Oh, the, the propeller-shaped ones, like where it's going to bounce off of. Oh. So we got to find a way of arranging them so that the ball's going to bounce its way up into that hole. Okay, so, no, not that one. Oh, there's a wide range of where that can go. <laughs> sure. Oops. <laughs> I just want to watch it fail forever. Uh-huh. Okay, right, so the first so this, one's good. This needs to go up. Makes sense. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. uh-huh. Yeah, Probably that like makes that, sense. Right? Uh-huh, okay. Uh-huh. That that's it. They just need to build a really basic ladder. What? Mm-mm. What? Uh, I don't know why you thought that was. I don't know. I don't because uh, the first thing should have worked. I thought. Game, That's literally a, where it started, game. Yeah, game, you have a limited number of 
Maybe it's the not supposed to hit this one, I guess. Maybe the one no, not that one. I was thinking the one prior to it maybe has to go in another direction. Okay. How would that work? It has to hit this one. Yeah. And then that has to send it to the right, but maybe there's this whole right side that they gave us. So yeah. maybe they want us to cross the entire table, meaning make that one flat and then Okay. I mean, let's just see where this... Alright. Closer. So put that one at a diagonal. Yeah, and then maybe this one on the right tilted to... Nope, not that one. One down. And then rotate once. That's the one it just hits, though. It goes from here to here. Yeah, and then it needs... Okay, well, let's, let's right. see. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. That bops it up. But then that could cross it over. I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. one too. That one needs to be flat. And then the last one needs to also be flat, I think. To yeah, I bet that'll work. All right, we've been down on the puzzles and stuff in this game, but that was nice. But now we have the high score on the Icelandic Dracula table, so. <laughs> So now we know how to complete this painting. Uh, yeah. There, we fixed your dumb painting. So you needed to get high score in order to go in here and look through all your stuff. Find the hidden, the morphing objects. Ugh. That's that. Oh, that's Why? the worst. Because then we have Where to you... wait for them to change. Yeah, you just end up staring at something and hoping it's the thing that'll oh, change. Oh, that's the most boring. Okay, you look on the left and I'll look on the right. How quickly do you suppose uh, the lipstick in the upper left? Alright. <sighs> True test of our skill. Well, of our patience, anyway. How many things do you have to find? Two more? Two more. Is this... Oh, no, no. No. Have we got it? It's not a two more. Remember that movie? <laughs> what? <laughs> Kindergarten Cop. Oh, God. Really? It's the chess piece in the top. Okay. And now they reward us with the actual puzzle. The Sweet. red bird is pinned to the top shelf. Uh, okay. I can't remember So we need the purple screwdriver. Screw by hand. This is the second video game connected reference to Kindergarten Cop that I've heard this week. Why? Why are you hearing so much Kindergarten Cop? Because I was looking up Silent Hill stuff because the game Dead by Daylight introduced a Silent Hill expansion. On top of the books, I think. Those are marbles, maybe? The purples and the red? Oh, yeah. And someone pointed out that the... What, moth? Yep. Someone pointed out that the location, the map that they used as the, um, <laughs> I'm trying to talk. Mm -hmm. The map that they used in Dead by Daylight to represent this location at Silent Hill is called Midwich Elementary School. And in the original game of Silent Hill, where Midwich Elementary School appeared, it was a duplicate of the school in Kindergarten Cop. There, I said it. What? They used the entire geography of the Kindergarten Cop school? Not entirely, because, I mean, you can't see the entire geography of the school in Kindergarten Cop, yeah. but there were definitely areas that had been very clearly modeled on the Kindergarten Cop school, which makes sense when you realize that it was a game that was set in America, but made in Japan. So the people making the game in japan who designed the level were looking at american movies for reference for, for reference. Photo reference so i they... have seen that there were like posters that appeared on you were right on the shell by the way where was I... it it was there? right under your mouse oh. i thought you were holding off because you wanted to get through your silent hill kindergarten cop story i mean i was but i also just wasn't even looking for it <laughs> nice <laughs> that's the dedication you get if you watch these videos oh hey have you ever seen a pair of headphones Never. Well, you're going to love this. <laughs> so, yeah, if you look, there are there's web pages that you can find online where you could see 
someone has found screen captures from Kindergarten Cop where they show a poster that's on the wall in the background, and that exact same poster shows up in Silent Hill. Yes. So there is a shared cinematic universe between the Silent Hill game and movies and Kindergarten Cop. As the project is entering the final stages, I worry something's off. Someone worked hard to hide the project's goal, but I see the patterns and understand the seemingly unrelated results. We think we're working on an advancement, but in fact, we've created an instrument of destruction. (laughs) We thought we were going to create one of those earthquake machines that shakes things up and builds them. (laughs) Oh, we were fooled. Now it's clear Clara didn't want to be part of the project because of something terrible they were working on. The earthquake machine. (laughs) Jesus, we're dumb. Oh my God. (sighs) Okay, here we need a vacuum too. Yeah, we've got both of the feathers now to go find what they're hiding in the bookshelf. I think there's one more thing that's needed here besides the feather though. I could be wrong. Oh, okay, I get it. I thought there was something Good missing morning. there, but that's just the I'm panel. sure I don't have to remind you how important our current project is. Charles considers it our top priority. Are you broadcasting or your is this recorded? Will be rewarded once the project is done. Charles promises longer trips to the surface. Maybe more. Maybe that's a makeover. <laughs> have a pleasant and productive day. I'm going to go find my face. Why did they obscure that guy's face? There's only three characters. Oh, this place has a disco floor. Well, you watched the message, and that's the only way to get this vault to come up. The floor! It's moving! There's no keyboard. How am I supposed to use this? Uh, Now there is. Remote control. I wouldn't call that keyboard. It's just controls. Oh my, would you look at that? A secret computer! What is wrong with us? Oh my. We're talking like we're from 1840. Are we just doing a match three? Yeah, we're totally going to secret agent candy crush it. Match three or more of the same symbols in a row to remove them from the screen. Swap two symbols to get three in a row. Really? Yeah, it's just play candy crush with their weird symbol library until they decide you're done. Every match that you make gets us one piece of progress. Do you get anything for like major combos? (laughs) Let's see. Yeah. Did that count for double? I wasn't looking. I assume so. (laughs) Wow. Wow. The secret agent life. (laughs) Clara's computer virus, 90% done, further coding needs. So we had to hack into a project management platform? (laughs) Sean's biological virus, formula done, waiting for production. Matthew's deployment tactics, theoretical model, done. Viruses. Deployment. Oh, this is unspeakable. Clara was right there crafting an instrument of destruction. Oh, no. What about the earthquake machine? Get access to the lab. Well, there's the tape that we needed to get the fingerprints off the glass. All right. Let's do that, I guess. You know, like spies do. (laughs) (laughs) What? Okay. Wrapping around. um... Oh, we're crafting an entire tape hand. (laughs) <laughs> and then we stick that in our pocket so all the adhesive comes off. <laughs> I guess we should have done this closer to the hand scanner. Mm, it won't matter. Um, all, right, all, right. all right. Let's choke to death. <laughs> Schlup. I mean, I don't really know what made us think that handprint was from somebody that had authorization to get in here, but sure. Anyone with a hand. We could not We could have got in if we didn't have candy floss hands. <laughs> we don't have fingerprints. It doesn't know how to scan us. <laughs> no more green gas around. I guess it's safe to step inside. Oh, no, it's a neurotoxin. No. I'll turn this lab upside down if that puts these horrific experiments to a halt. What's up, nerds? How's... Destroying the earth coming. I'm on your side. We don't really say put to a halt. This is how we blend in. Oh, I see. Clara was right. This has to end. We can't finish the project. I'd never be able to live with myself. If you're so scared, go ahead and leave. I don't need you or Clara to finish this. 
With your theoretical model? I think you do. <laughs> You're deluded, Matt. Right? Wake up and look around. It's all there. You just need to connect the dots. In some sort of theoretical model of dot connecting. Gosh, it's just a shame that these genius children didn't realize that a computer virus could be used for not good. <laughs> well, to be fair, one of them actually created a biological virus that's going to be used for something not good. The computer virus is hanging behind. All right. Okay. Uh, by the way, that... What are you doing? Stop wasting time and get back to work. I think we discovered who who's behind the experiments. Come up here and explain yourself. Or I'll call security. You think we can't kung fu our way past security? Yeah, I mean, we gotta be good at something. And it's not anything to do with thinking. So we must <laughs> be like a super physical, awesome savant of kung fu or something. Mm -hmm. I have to confront Charles right away. I don't know if there is a faster way to the bottom of this. You, why do you need to be at the bottom of this? You already know what the deal is. Talking to the bad guy doesn't do anything to progress What if we can get anything. him to admit? First, let's stuff everything we can find into our pockets. Okay. Well, I don't think it's going to let us. I think that those... Oh, we literally just have to go talk to this yeah, guy? Yeah, those areas are highlighted because that's all you can click on. Wow. Okay. Let's do it. I don't think he'll be happy that I'm snooping around, but if he is behind that virus experiment, I'll make him even more miserable. I'm going to kung fu chop... Science Santa. If we get to beat this guy up, then I will almost forgive this protagonist everything. Mm -hmm. So, care to tell me what you're doing in this private facility? I have hands. Who are you? <laughs> Help agent. I don't understand. There's nothing illegal going on here. Our experiments are for the benefit of mankind. His you know, head keeps moving like a jelly baby's. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I was going to say, you know what I think the biological virus is? It's not actually going to be harmful. It's to give to all these people whose faces float on their skulls mm -hmm. to cure to them. To anchor them again? To anchor them again. Like, he he's for real. This is going to benefit mankind, or at least the mankind that's uh, based on stock photography. And then using morphine <laughs> to it's have facial weird. expression. Weird stuff. All right, continue. Wait, that's it? Conversation that's, over. That's all he has to say. Hey, you want some golf balls? Is he bluffing, or does he really not know what his protégés are working on? Uh... Yeah. Uh, Jesus, what? we're dumb. We're are we so supposed to hand him something? I guess. Here's a science badge for your jacket. Uh, throw some water on him. Maybe he'll melt like the Wicked Witch. Oh, you think he's made of candy floss like us? Maybe. This is the worst... <laughs> the worst <laughs> weapon we have. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to confront him with this? Maybe he's an android and this will turn him off. I, I've never seen anything so horrible. It's just a remote control. These viruses coupled with the tremors could wipe out the entire country. I mean, the tremors could just do it. I don't think you needed the other stuff. The viruses are just for fun. <laughs> so overkill. How? I put Duncan in charge after I got sick. Of course. If anyone knows what's causing all this, it's him. And this explains why he's always going around saying, I'm going to destroy the Earth. <laughs> and, oh, wouldn't it be great if everybody died from viruses, both computer and biological. <laughs> and also, did you know that you can lock laptops? And I was like, I've never seen a laptop that can lock. He's like, check this out. Like, Whoa. He's right. somewhere in the underground complex. Try to find him using the camera feed. You could help. <laughs> Since you know how to use the camera feed. I mean, clearly from the fact that he didn't know that somebody was scheming to destroy the world in his own facility, he doesn't do anything. He certainly doesn't know how to look at his own camera feeds or he would have seen something about this. Yeah, we'll be right there on the camera feeds as soon as we've gotten rid of this badge and played this little laser game. Okay, what's the deal here? Press the particle, the par uh -huh. and then the arrow. To move it in the right direction, construct the molecule from all of the particles at your disposal according to the connections available on them. What the fuck are you even talking oh, about? Oh, it's... You ever play one of those games where you push boxes around with a limited number of moves? Yeah. They want us to build this blue-red-blue blue, uh, molecule. 
So that connects that up, but now they've got to get into such a place that you can actually get that other blue molecule down in there with them. Hmm. Or up with them or something. This isn't a terrible puzzle. It, I, th I feel like the instructions are very bad. Sure. Because I have played this kind of puzzle before, and it's not okay, that. Okay, now red. Nope. Go nope. back. Red goes up. And then red goes right. Oh, you're right. Okay. How and do we then get, mm, quit. How do we get this one up? <laughs> I haven't figured all of it out. <laughs> you're right. What the hell does that bump into? any of it out. <laughs> Will they settle for two-thirds of a molecule since we're not a scientist? Um, we're supposed to use them here. Uh, I think it's the... No, that's not good. All right, I know how to do this. Okay. All right, and then you send it all the way over to the right because red can get back on its own. Right. Down. Down, it should have been. Oh, yeah. I said I knew how to do it, but then you said some things forgot. and I got distracted. <laughs> Even though you were just saying what I was going to do, uh -huh. it's still distracting it was me enough, enough that I forgot what off. I was going to do. I am not doing more of this. We Fuck just, off. <laughs> we just did one. And we found the U.S. Constitution. Oh. <laughs> project Seismic Generator Researcher Matthew. This project is just a partial success. While we're able to induce tremors without causing damage near the generator, it's still useless in our deployment strategy because of its self-destructing nature. Who would have imagined that a seismic generator would cause any destruction? I suppose that seismic generator is the smoking heap I encountered in the lab. Good riddance. I feel much safer now. How did we figure that out just because they said it has a self-destructing nature we just assume it must have self-destructed we're not smart okay <laughs> we're not smart at all if someone just told us oh that's broken we go okay <laughs> i'm not gonna look into it <laughs> this... there's no way to play golf if you don't have three all three balls. golf balls wow. and why <laughs> why are we gonna play golf I'm gonna take a break you know if someone has a mini golf course you can't just Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, check inside that ashtray. Uh, Alright, so let's look over his shoulder, I guess, and see if we could find... I'll need to store the info on something? Do we need a floppy disk to go into this? I mean, I don't have anything Should we else. take that scalpel? Why is there a scalpel in here? That's a good it's point. dangerous. We're going to confiscate that. Here, can you write your data onto this carbon monoxide. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to solve this puzzle by bashing it with a giant metal thing. Why was a soldering iron inside there? Look, these people are psycho... Like, beyond psychotic. I was trying to invent a new word for how crazy they are and failed halfway through because I don't even have the phonemes to get to it. I'll need to store the info on something. All right, so we got to poke around until we find a floppy disk or something. Or another golf ball. Sure, because maybe <laughs> the floppy disk is the prize of this guy's mini golf set. Yeah. It would not surprise me. Yeah. All right. Can I just say I like his War of the Worlds uh, inverted lamp that he's got hanging over his desk? Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty nice. Charles looked furious. If Duncan tricked me, I guess I'd feel the same. I guess I would feel like a complete dumbass for letting my company spiral out of my control so drastically. We can poke around down here now that the guy's not yelling at us. That's true. There is a hydraulic system holding the platform up. The control mechanism can't be too far, I guess. It's probably sparkling in red at the bottom. Because they don't trust us to figure it out. I suppose this smoking heap was once the seismic generator. I feel much safer now that it's dead for good. I, that doesn't really look like a smoking heap from here. I don't feel like they're communicating this very well. It kind of looks like that's just what it does. Wait, I'm doing a thing. If the markings are correct, this should be a spot for the auction from reservoir. You mean for the carbon monoxide reservoir? After using the compressor, make sure gas tanks are emptied. They are already empty. Okay. Uh, we probably need one more of those uh, handles before yeah. we can complete this. Okay, so what else were you wanting to look at here? Nope. Okay. 
Where? Uh, there's a hand up by the faces on the roof. Oh. All right, but we gotta do some soldering first. Sure. What are we soldering? This won't do it. What? Solder over by that thing, yeah. So gra we gr put it back in its cradle, and then we <laughs> lift it up. We had to put it down first, though. Yeah. Okay, we unsoldered something. Yeah, what? Uh, that's not how soldering works. It, it is, kind of. You could melt the solder back off something. I guess. The important thing is, now we can golf. <laughs> I don't know what why we dismantled that. Well, our protagonist knows something that we don't, and mm -hmm. they haven't bothered to tell us yet. Whoa, with our hands, we just caused that to bubble. Uh, I guess our cotton candy limbs are causing a chemical reaction. Are we radioactive? Maybe. I mean, More science. <laughs> I won't be able to capture the gases without a way to close and open the tanks. Yeah, like the handles. No use forcing it before I get everything I need to start the reaction. Okay, let's find out what the science fact is, shall we? No. There's no time to learn anything. Introducing a direct... Uh, introducing a direct electrical current to water leads to the process of water electrolysis, which is a division of the water molecule into molecules of hydrogen, the negative electrode, cathode, and molecules of oxygen at the anode. Cool. First used in 1800, how does that help us? Apparently we need to get canisters full of gas for something. Oh, and we also learned, learned about a molecule molecules. Is. Sure. Hey, here's the vacuum tube one. Did we just pick it up and not look at it? I guess. I guess. We huh. haven't looked at a lot of these. All right. Well, whatever. Whatever. So we're separating gas for reasons. Yeah, I'm, I don't love the puzzles where you have to achieve a task without knowing why you're doing the task. <laughs> without yet. having been given the context. Yeah, without knowing. Oh, uh, I guess reason. the gas is needed to move the hydraulic platform. I, I guess that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I suppose. But what makes more sense is mini golf. I'm a secret agent. <laughs> hey, hey, look at me. I'm secret agenting. We're so good at mini golf. This is our talent. <laughs> yep. This is the thing we were born to do. Two hole in ones in a row. And here comes hole in one number three. Oh, I oh. broke your house. Gun trigger. What? <laughs> if I ever got to the point where my illness progressed, I hid the trigger here for ending my life. <laughs> Alright, so it needed valves over here. I think one valve was needed in each place, maybe. We're probably oh, both of them. Maybe needed. we're gonna okay. use them over there once we finish. Like yank them back here? off this thing. Alright. What else Kit do I need? Oh, yeah. I need to look at this so that I find out what else I need. Water. water. Oh we got water. We've got water. Where's the water go? Here? Where do you want... Just on the table? Yeah. Just on the table. And then we can put it here. I was getting ahead of myself, apparently. Yeah, you can't just go straight into there. What are you, some kind of reckless madman? Alright, and then, uh, then we get all the gas. And now that we got the gas, I guess we wanted the oxygen over at the other thing? We want both. Oh, okay. Um, can we get the valves? No. No. So maybe we don't need valves over here. Just the cartridges. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And now the hydraulics are back. It worked like a charm. What, what worked? Now let's see what's in that pile. I thought the seismic thing was like behind it. But it was on top of it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, but we're winning. We're finding safety pins at the moment, so I'm just going to focus on that. Okay. Um, and if you want to look for uh, con contact lenses, I guess? I, I think it's Petri know. dishes. Petri dishes. And there's dishes. like, there's one right there, there's one right there. There's another safety pin next to the purple gem or crystal structure to the left. Oh, the head is red, and it threw me off. Uh -huh. The head of this one is red also. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. Um, so this is one of those things where... Pop the balloon with that, and that opens that. All right. So we still then... need one more Petri dish, I guess. Yeah. 
Do you see another petri dish? I already got the one off here. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's object. up by the jar. So it is. What is that? No, we what? splatted on something, and now we know how to find other stuff. All right. <laughs> the set of weights is right above the magnifying glass. Tweezers, gauze. Fan, crystal, web camera. Web camera? Yeah. Oh, this the web camera I actually found right away. <laughs> the time period of this is kind of all over the place. We need the crystal, so the purple crystal. That's a scoop. That's a funnel. Yeah. Here's the scoop. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We do need the funnel, actually. We need pie, which is just set on top of that green glass dome. <laughs> you know, just keeping around the just little... Just find pie. You know, the symbol pie on a little disc like you the do. The fan that's behind the green dome is on the list. Oh, yeah. Tweezers, the letter F, nice, right by the molecule and the chalkboard. <laughs> I recognize the letter F. I'm a winner. <laughs> the strainer is going to take some work. Tweezers and gauze, still on the list. I want this string, though. We need string. It said we needed string. That's true. I remember needing gimme, string. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right, whatever. Uh, strainer, gauze, tweezers, what? Uh, gauze is purple for some reason on the right side. Oh, they colored it weird. Yep, put weird light on it to trick us. Did it work? Heck no. We need a syringe too, apparently. This is a, a screwdriver. screwdriver. Oh, we're supposed to do a thing here. Oh, uh, move a thing to find a thing. That's the strainer. Okay, um... Is so there something inside that orange, uh, thing? No, I that's not. an overlap with the test tube behind it. I see. I get your instinct, though, and I think you were, you know, onto something. But, because I think the tweezers might be hidden. We're not, like, in there. You were absolutely yeah, on something. Yeah, it was in a tube, tube. Just the wrong tube. All right, so where's the syringe? Is it in a different tube? Is it behind or inside something? No, because it's not a different color, which is usually the giveaway that it should be. All right. Is it... Hmm. I might do a hint because, like, the the hidden object scenes have been so easy so far that something being even slightly hidden is throwing me. <laughs> you think our instincts are getting dulled? I just I'm confused. I... Oh. Is it? See, like from that angle, okay. their idea of how to hide things is very strange. The important thing is we found a storage chip so we can go back up to the computer in evil Santa's room. <laughs> Micro he's, SD card. He's not evil. We apparently believe him that this is not his fault and he was just sick. Mm -hmm. You know how when you call in sick from your job as an overlord or CEO or something of a company. And then never ask any questions about why people are making an earthquake machine. Yeah. Or check people's notes about how they're finished with their biological virus. Right. Or like, have wh What any, is this about again? Have any kind of internal supervision or oversight of any kind. I think all he does is just stand on the catwalk and yell at people. Do science stuff! <laughs> uh, what am I doing here? Probably, probably need to read the info. Press the dots to connect them with a red line. Turn the whole shape red without pressing any dot more than twice. What? What? Like, draw the star? What are you... Is this just hand-eye coordination? Doing game? Game, are you trying to make sure we didn't have a stroke? What? Okay, it gets harder. So they're making you go through waves of... Okay. Wait, what, is this harder? No, I don't oh, think Oh, turn it is. the whole shape red. Oh, I do have to turn the whole shape red? That's what it says, yeah. Without hitting anything more than once. Oh, well that so is So this hard is where the trick one. is. Where's okay. The, how, where's the reset? I don't know. Try clicking something twice oh, and it'll probably fail you. Reset. No! Yeah, you're right. I've just got to reset. I only want to reset this part. All right. Nope. Because we already have to hit the middle again. All right. How 
How nope. do you do this? This is a real trick. Hmm. Do you start here? Is that the deal? No, you can't. Nope, you, you can't. How can you have four things connecting to one thing and then you can't go over them twice? That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, this game has made me dumber. Well, I, I was wondering like. if like, you start in the upper left, go to lower left, and then... No, because for some reason I was thinking you could go through the middle, but you can't because then you'd lose that connection to the upper left. There's... How would you do this? How would you do this without going over one twice when there's a middle one that you have to do four times? Wait, if I do this, does oh, it count? Yes, that's how you do it. No, it's not. Look. You can't skip over and connect? Nope. I thought that was 100% what they were asking us to do is hit the corners yeah. and then connect through the middle without touching the middle twice. Right. And then it would have been easy. No. Nope. Because nobody told us we had to hit them sequentially. They just said, draw the lines. Right. Well, I feel dumb that I'm going to blame this game for making me stupid. That looked like it went through them twice. I feel like you hit the lower left there twice, game. I'm going to watch this on YouTube <laughs> and slow it down frame by frame, but I feel like you cheated. I feel like our solution where you connect the corners with one click and it goes through the middle without you touching it was the real solution. It's Duncan's wheelchair. That means he can't be far away, ableist. Time to get back to the pier. <laughs> For all we know, he supersized himself up an exoskeleton. Or a jetpack. Or has another wheelchair. Or uh, maybe could even walk a short way. Because not everyone who uses a wheelchair is completely stuck in it. They can walk short distances What's sometimes. What's he doing in the boathouse? There's no reason for him to be there. Go talk to him. You are way too used to giving orders. I we, don't work for you. We don't work for you. Also, what if it was the Christian rapture and he was the only pure person here and now we're trapped together in hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just saying, you see a wheelchair pitched over and maybe it means that we have been damned. <laughs> Ever think of that? It's the tribulation? <laughs> it's the tribulation. It's starting now. The seas are going to turn to blood. Charles is e eager to get to the bottom of this, and so am I. Finding Duncan is the first step. You have really thrown me off with this. It could be the rapture theory. <laughs> Look, I don't want to rule anything out. All right. Maybe we should stop here then and um, brace ourselves before we go confront Duncan or find out that Duncan has disappeared and it's actually the rapture. Yeah. So we're going to pause the game. We're going to go read the entire book of Revelation. <laughs> So that we have a working theory as to what's going on before we continue on. Thanks for sticking with us. We know this can't be easy because uh, it's not easy for us. But uh, hang in there. Uh, connect all the dots you want, drawing your own envelopes in the meanwhile. And we will see you back here someday. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>